Hey guys, Fishman200 here. What is going on? So we're back here with another episode of Dev Guy. Um, so currently we have our flash drive. We're going around trying to hack uh, other developers' games and put them on our flash drive because that's what we do. We've played one game already. We're standing in front of a computer to play a second game right now. And uh, hold on. can we look at this pillow again? Oh, I want to look at the pillow again. All right. So let's let's see what game this guy has got. This is Itobaka's computer. It's locked, so I'll have to find a passcode to use it. Hmm. Need a passcode. And look here. All these books are blank. Maybe they're just here to make the place look busy. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. What if there's a passcode in the pillow? Oh, there's no passcode in the pillow. Uh, okay. Well, looks like we will not be playing a game on that computer because, uh, yeah, uh, we need the we need the password. So let's try this computer. So everybody's got a computer. Alrighty. This is David Beige's computer, and he has supposedly made an art house masterpiece. If that is the case, you need the, to source hack it to add artistic appeal to your game. Let's just pray that it doesn't just attract too many hipster deadbeats to the game scene. Alright, enough talk. Let's source hack this bitch. Man, the language in this game. The Return. Let's play this game. Begin. You wake up with your head hurting. You can't remember who you are anymore. Almost like an explosive case of amnesia. You need to remember yourself, and her as well. Who is her? Inventory is empty. Let's click on the arrow. It's locked. Can't open it. It's locked. Can't open it. This is bad. It's locked. Can't open it. It's locked. Everything is locked. Oh, that door was open. It's a box. Let's open the box. What? Was that it? What the crap was that? There wasn't even a single puzzle throughout the whole thing. Good god, this whole game looks like a bust. Hacking this was a horrid waste of time. But wait, seems there are critically acclaimed reviews for this game saying how good it is. Such reviews going as far as saying that anyone who thinks differently of this game should be sentenced to death out of lack of creative thinking. <gasps> Perhaps it is worth taking this data anyway. Maybe it will serve as some nice hipster bait. <laughs> hipster bait. Two games down, three to go. Hmm. Another bed. Another room, another bed. It's the pony room. Ooh. Door is locked. I have to find another way. Mm, can I go through the vents, maybe? Mm, one of these old-fashioned games. Is there anything else in here? No, it's just the phone. All right, let's see what game is on this computer. This is Retro Frog's computer. He supposedly made a social commentary on jumping in games. Supposedly, this was inspired from horrid flash games that forced up as the jump button. It's a game controlled all through the arrow keys. Yeah, because that style never dies, it seems. <laughs> it's jokes, because that's the way I'm playing right now. Let's see if a social commentary game is any bit entertaining. Yes, let us see. You have to up to jump. Press up to begin. Stage 1. To move in this game, use the arrow keys. To move left and right, if you want to jump, press up. Cool. To flip a lever, just press up. Okie dokie. Stage 3. Spikes are bad. Jump over them with up. Stage 4. Press F to skip game. Oh. I'm going back before. Ah, because I'm hitting the. Uh, I'm hitting the spikes. So, how do I. 
Got it. Puzzle games. Look at that. Hold up to climb vines. Press F to skip game. To climb ladders, just press up. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Climbing up the ladder. I'm at the top. Alright, stage six. Here we go. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> the one fucking spike ruined everything. <laughs> no. Oh. Well, this just got a hell of a lot easier. So now I just need to time this last one. Go! Ah, did it. You win! Your win? That's not right. Press up to continue. Cheap. Pressing up to jump in platforms is a load of is a load of hand cramp bullshit. My hand didn't cramp up. Well, at least it was a surprisingly entertaining game, albeit cheap. Yeah, it was pretty entertaining. Having a good time. Sounds worth jump driving the data and getting some retro charm into our game. <coughs> Two more games left. Almost there. All right. So I don't know. I've probably only been playing for a little bit. I'll give you guys one more game. If I can, uh, figure out how to get in. Ah! There's a crowbar. You guys remember from the first episode? There was, uh, a, a crowbar in my car. It's 
my car. Poor thing, it's window smashed in. Damn it, Cave. Those don't come cheap. Windows don't come cheap, Cave. Cave. Oh, sweet, Cave left his crowbar behind. I'll just take that as minor compensation. Yeah, that'll show him. Don't leave your crowbars laying around. And now, I can see the pony lover's room through this window. So shall we. <coughs> crowbar away in. Kaja. Hmm. Good, 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 good. Now we're we're in the pony lover's room. This is this is what my room would look like if uh if I uh never mind. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Let's see what game you've got. All right, we're off at Bro Hoof. Nineteen's computer source hacking his uh fanfic game. Let's just pray this horse banger has a decent game in stock worth source hacking. All right, let's get this fanfic nightmare started. Yeah, this one's probably gonna be the worst game. Gallery three. Galley three, sorry. Oh goodness, what is this? Oh, it's a pony. It's a blue pony. It's a blue shimmering pony. Oh, there's three ponies. What do I do? Use your arrow keys to navigate your galley hooves around. Press space as blue galley to fire blasts from your horn and destroy blue gates. Holy shit. This is sick. Now press three to switch to green galley. As green galley, you can walk through green gates and set off green triggers on the ground. Walk through green gates. That's a green and a red gate. That's a red trigger. It's a white gate. Can't walk through that one. Ah, green trigger. Good job. Now press the two key to switch to the red galley. So red galley, you can buck heavy objects, set off red triggers on the ground. Ah, cross the bridge, set up by the green galley. Wonderful, this ends the tutorial portion of this map. Good luck and have fun. Um one two three for the goat. Shit. Ah, uh, let's go to two. Knock down that wall too. Now I can go to three, because I don't need that one open. I can walk through here, stand on the green. Hmm. Now I can get the blue galley through the door. Where do I go from here? So that's green door. Pew! Shoot that. Let's get the green galley. Can you walk any faster? You're a horse. Gallop! Damn it. Say the music for this for the game in general could be a little bit better. Alright, so now we've got a walkway. Stretching out across Oh, that's a pretty big blue thing. Right, let's get the red guy over here, because I'm probably gonna need him soon. Hopefully this game doesn't take too long. Alright, red's across the bridge. Now let's switch to blue. Get blue across the bridge. Pew! Pew, pew. See, I tricked you. This actually was a first person shooter. Alright, green galley. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a pretty pony. Hear me trot walking through things like I've got a knot. Hmm. Seem to have stumbled across a puzzle. Oh. Damn it. I need the green guy. Boop. Psh. Whoa. <gasps> Fancy. Ho oh ho. 
Alright. Let's go blue. Fire the icicle. Red. Walk around blue. Kick down this wall. Or just make the wall move. Now we can get the green guy out. Let's get the red guy out. Let's walk blue down the hallway. Yay! Now all three pretty ponies are together. Let's keep walking around. Looks like I'm going to need red in this next area quite a bit. Oh yeah, this area is all red. Which one's red? That's... There we go. Surprised that was the first time I messed up. Um, do we know where I'm supposed to be going? I think that's the real question. <gasps> is that gold? Oh, look at all that gold. <sighs> I want gold. <sighs> I want to go. I want to go so bad. Let's get this gold, ponies. Pony up, boys. Come on, blue. Break that down. Stand on the trigger. <gasps> the gold. It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> We're gonna be rich, I tell you. Rich! Woohoo! Got go! Now we're rich and pretty. Treasure get. Hmm. Well, that was kind of decent, actually. And surprisingly, no mature content. <laughs> it's just this game feels familiar for some reason. Wait a minute. This game is just a carbon copy of Three Shield Adventure, but with pony assets instead. Man, what a cop out. What kind of developer just takes games and claims them as their own? Hey, wait. Looks like an email from Idiobaka and seems Brohoof and him are friends. Looks like an email telling Brohoof the entry code to Idiobaka's computer. Sweet! Just what you needed. Now you can get into Idio's computer. Let's just jump drive this game and move on to mm -hmm. his place. One more game left. Let's make this happen. Alright, guys. That's it for this episode. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed the Pony Adventure and uh, a couple of the other games we played. So, tune in next time for the last game and maybe the uh, the end of this, uh, this game. Deaf Guy. Thanks for stopping by. This is Fishman200. Swimming away.